I'm not nervous about losing the traditional buyer because we still have a traditional product. We're not bringing this truck out as a replacement for anything that we currently offer. It's in addition to all those things that we still offer. Western Star did something quite unique with the 5700 XE. It sent a message to its deeply loyal customer base that they now have a choice. A choice between the classic long nose 4900 and the classic styled 5700. A truck that meets their image expectations while delivering performance and savings rivaling the most efficient truck in Daimler's North American stable. The motivation and our focus as we were developing the 5700 XE is the Western Star brand needed a truck that would satisfy those buyers in the on-highway aerodynamic markets. Hi, I'm Jim Park with today's trucking's ultimate test drive. As Western Star's general manager Mike Jackson noted, they aren't taking anything away from the truck buyer who still wants the classic styling. However, getting the 5700 into the space occupied by what some would call the jelly beans took some considerable effort and ingenuity. Here's Mike Jackson again explaining how they made that happen. We wanted to combine about three things. One is the ruggedness and the durability that's historically known in the Western Star product. We wanted to combine the Daimler technology, the powertrain, all of those things that make Daimler products so fuel efficient. And we wanted to create a new set of edgy styling for those customers that want to maximize their investment dollars, increase their return on sales, as well as have something that's a little different from the rest of the pack. We saw in the walk around video some of the aerodynamic handiwork Western Star's engineers pulled off. The new Detroit powertrain offers some gains of its own. There was some engine optimization involved, such as switching to an asymmetrical turbocharger for better air handling. The latest generation of Detroit's amplified common rail fuel system and adding a variable speed water pump to reduce the load on the engine. The XE configuration also includes a new feature called the DP15i, which means intelligent powertrain management. It offers downsped drivetrain gearing for low engine revs at cruise speed, coupled with power management strategies that use GPS and terrain mapping, along with load and grade sensors. They feed the engine the information it uses to determine power settings. Once the system is engaged, the driver never needs to touch the brake or the accelerator. The system manages everything as efficiently as possible. And all that technology will be available across all of Detroit's engine options in the 5700 XE. In terms of powertrain, we're going we're gonna to be equipped with Detroit Power DD13, DD15 and DD16. But more importantly, we're bringing the DT12 transmission into the Western Star product line. This is leveraging all the development that we've done for powertrain within Daimler. That was Jesus Gomez, Western Star's Director of Engineering. He says all that technology delivers some pretty impressive fuel economy gains. In order for us to have uh, fuel efficiency targets, we actually had to start with a benchmark. Our 4900 FE was the benchmark that we departed from. All the improvements implemented into the vehicle gain us about 7%, and the powertrain gain us an additional 7 point something percent, so roughly between 14 and 15% improvement over the, the 4900 FE today. This 5700 XE was also imbued with some pretty impressive safety features like the on-guard adaptive cruise control and active braking system from Meritor Wabco. It uses forward-looking radar to maintain a safe following distance and will brake or accelerate the truck based on what it sees out front. The adaptive cruise control uses GPS and terrain maps to fuel the engine based on the road grade and weight of the truck for added fuel efficiency. And this steering wheel is new as well. It features fingertip controls for a number of functions. Uh, this steering wheel is a brand new venture for Western Star. You've got the controls right on the wheel here, so the driver's got full cruise control function on this side. Got uh, telephone on and off controls. We've also got the headlight and the trailer dip buttons for when you're passing somebody. If you're the old school driver and you still dip your headlights for a guy when he passes you, or if he does the same for you, tap, 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 thank him with the little flash of the trailer lights. While all that safety and power management technology is really valuable, drivers will be pleased to hear that the Western Star has retained all the good stuff that makes a Western Star a Western Star, like the driver comfort features of the cabin sleeper and a dashboard you just can't confuse with a Toyota. So we're up here in the cockpit of the Western Star 5700 XE. 
What do we have? This is a real truck dashboard. There's no question about it. Up here, we've got the new uh, driver display tab. It's a, sort of a classic design, but it's still sort of contemporary. It shows you things like your uh, engine speed, what gear you're in, um, any hazard warnings, um, any fault codes that come up. They're displayed audibly as well as, as on this tab as well. The B panel of the dashboard, uh, it's a really nice layout and it's really easy to reach from you know, even the furthest switches on the dashboard are, are nicely within an arm's length reach. So uh, top marks there for the design. Down here on the bottom of the B panel, you've got your air conditioning and heater controls. Again, intuitive, well-placed. They're a nice big switch, so they're easy to get your hands on. And up here in the steering column, we've got the shift paddle for the DT12 automated manual transmission. That's really easy to use. It's intuitive. You don't have to look at it or see it. You just know it's there. Forward for drive, backward for reverse. Got your engine brake by pulling down this way. Like I said, it's a really nice, trucky looking dashboard. That's the kind of thing you'd expect from Western Star. And up on the top here, you've got your, uh, your CB radio and your AM FM radio. Uh, minor complaint about this one, the buttons are kind of small. Uh, you've got an older, older audience like we have who wear bifocal glasses. Sometimes it's kind of hard to look up and see what's going on there. I prefer a radio with larger buttons on it, but yeah, no real complaint. And up here on the window, that's the, uh, the camera for the lane departure warning system. Let's go check out the sleeper, but before we do, check out how much room there is between these seats. You know, anybody can get back between the seats in this truck. No problem with room there at all. So back here, <clears throat> we've got the 68-inch uh, Stratosphere high roof sleeper. Tons of room here. I'm nowhere near the ceiling. Over on this side, we've got a fridge that's w mounted up off the ground, which has been a, a consistent sticking point with drivers. It's far easier to reach into the fridge at this height than it is to reach down on the floor and find something. Down below the fridge, there's a little drawer for a bit of stuff. We've got a pull-out desk here sit in the bunk, do your paperwork at night, although with an electronic log you may not have to. Got a couple of nice little drawers here for stashing all your socks and underwear, but they've got a nice little detente there, so it takes a bit to pull them open. These aren't going to be flying open on you as you come down the road. And back up top here, we've got a couple of rear-mounted storage cabinets that you press to unlock the latch. They open up, they're solid wood, really nicely made, and uh, quite frankly, I think, a nice looking cabinet as well with that nice dark rich wood. I was certainly excited to see what Daimler's engineers and designers had done with the truck, and I fully expect the response from the faithful will be the same. I'll give the last word on the 5700 to Mr. Gomez. He was among those responsible for engineering all those energy saving and safety features into the Western Star 5700 XE. In the meantime, have a look at the other videos in the 5700 series. One's a feature interview with the truck's chief designer, Don Vina. The other is a walk around highlighting all the innovative features of the 5700 and of course there's a test drive. For today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive, I'm Jim Park in Royal Lake, Nevada. Drive safe and keep your revs down. What excites me the most about this project is that we have an incredible amount of technical resources that allow us to put together all the best from Daimler and make it Western Star. There's no mistaking, this is a, a bold, rugged, sharp, fuel-efficient machine.